Uh, welcome back to our dog kennel project. In our first episode we created a basic dog class and in this episode we're going to add some more attributes to that dog class. You might use this as an example for creating other objects such as a person or a fighter in a game and you want to associate a number of different attributes with that character in a game like their name, their age, hit points, if you're going to do some type of fighting game, etc. So our dog had a constructor with one attribute. And so let's go ahead and add breed to that. And so then we we're going to add breed. And then what we need to do is do self.breed is equal to breed. And a breed might be a Labrador or a Chihuahua. Um, and then we'll need a getter and setter for breed. So we'll go down here and we'll say def get breed. And we'll press pass in our parameter self, which we need to do with each of these methods when we're inside of a class. And then we want to just return self.breed. And then we need a setter for breed. So we'll say def set breed. Pass in the parameter self again. And then we'll say self dot breed is equal to breed. And then we might want to add um, this phrase to our to string. So inside the period we're going to add an escape sequence. Well actually let's do it at the beginning of the line. So we're going to concatenate this oops, no, with another phrase. So we'll say backslash n and that will give us a return statement. Um, and we can say I am a um, and then we can concatenate that with the breed. So we'll say self.breed. And then again, we'll add a period at the end of that sentence. All right, so let's go ahead and save our new dog. And then let's go to our kennel class. And so now in our pet one, we also need to add the breed. So we're going to say comma, and we'll make spot a lab. And then it'll he'll still say wolf, wolf, of course. And then we're going to print out pet1, and you'll see that it has both of those lines of text in it from our string method. Um, and the other thing that we can do is um, let so let's just do that first. And I'm going to go ahead and comment out the name change. So I'll just add a pound sign in front of each of these lines. And I'm going to run this. And you can see now it's Wolf Wolf. My name is Spot, and I am a lab. So if we want to just here, before we could change the name here with a setter, we can also just use the assessor to retrieve a particular aspect like print pet one dot um, get name. And we can, then we can also let's do both of these. So we can do print pet one dot get breed. So we're just using the assessor to get a particular attribute back about a particular dog object. And you can see here that his name is Spot and he's a lab. So the assessor methods can be used in different contexts to get a particular attribute out of a class that you might need to add to a particular phrase that you are typing out in your game. So let's go back and add one more attribute to our dog and let's add his weight. So 
So we'll go up to the top and add in the phrase weight. And then we'll need to create an instance variable. So we'll say weight, self.weight is equal to weight. And then we'll need getters and setters for weight. So we'll come down here to our assessors and mutators. So we want to say def dot get weight. Pass in the parameter self. And we'll return weight. And then we need a mutator for the weight to change the weight if we need to. So we'll say set weight, pass in the parameter self, and then we'll say self.weight is equal to weight. And then we can add this to our phrase also. So we'll say plus slash n, so it'll go on another line, and we can say i weigh, and then we can concatenate that with the variable self.weight, and then we'll add a period at the end. Let's go ahead and run this again. Well, let's save our dog class. We need to do that before we run it. And then we're going to go ahead and run. Well, let's go ahead and we need to add the weight for the dog. So I'm going to say he's a, he's a big boy. He's 110 pounds. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the print statement for that pet. And we'll get the weight. And then maybe you also want to, maybe for some reason you want, want to reset the weight. So we can say print pet1 dot um, set weight. Oops, in fact, actually what we need to do is we'll set the weight first and then we'll print out his new weight. So we'll say pet1.set weight and we'll pass in maybe that he's actually 108 pounds. Maybe there was a mistake. And now we're going to print um, pet1 and we'll use the assessor method. So we'll say print.getWeight. And then there's a method that needs open and close parentheses and then we need a final parentheses. So we can add the phrase here, maybe we want to add the phrase new weight. And don't forget to use a comma or a plus sign. We'll use a comma because we don't want to attach the two to each other. And it says here that it can't convert an int object to a string implicitly. And what that means is that our get weight is returning an integer. And so we need to cast it as a string before we can print it out with another phrase. And oh, it's doing it in our string method is where the problem is. So we need to go to our class and where the name and breed were strings, the weight is not. So we need to go in here where we have our self.weight and cast it as a string. So we'll do str. And then close the parentheses at the end. Let's go ahead and save the doll class again. We'll go ahead and run it. And then it says weight is not defined. So I probably have a misspelling. So let's go ahead and check. W-E-I-G-H-T. 
W E I G H T. W E I G H T. Let's see what line it says the error is on. Whoops. It says the error is on line 20 in the dog class. So we'll go to dog, and we'll go to edit, go to line, type in 20. And, hmm. It says weight is not defined. W E I G H T. Let's go ahead and make sure that they're all spelled the same by copying and pasting. see if we can find the error. Hmm. Okay, so it says Global name, so this says weight is not defined. So I think where our um, problem is, is that we don't want to return weight, we want to return self.weight. So let's try that. Should we save the file though? And now set weight, we have an issue that set weight takes one argument. So let's see where that problem is. So here set weight, we're passing in the new number. So we're gonna go here to self set weight, ah, we only have self in here and we need weight. Interesting. Let's try running it again. There we go. So, this is some ways to add attributes to your objects, whether it's a dog, a cat, a bird, or a skateboard and you can use the getters and the setters to retrieve some of these attributes and the two string method to print out some of these attributes. In our next episode we are going to create um, a series of um, pens or play pens or cages whatever you want to refer them to to store um, objects on these dogs and before we've created arrays for storing strings and numbers, but this time we'll create an array that we'll use as a series of kennels for our pets.